Deadly argument after Dallas church service. Man killed in love triangle dispute. What the fluck? Pastor shot and killed after church service here on Easter Sunday. Sat down and talked to us not only about how one of them was a youth pastor. How his life ended, oh, but also what's next for her family and the church family. This is youth pastor Denzel Branch mm. being introduced at church this past Good Friday. The 31 year old served as a minister at New Generation Church in South Dallas. It's also where just two days later on Easter Sunday, his mother Shayla Wilcox learned he was shot and killed. I Damn. remember having the feeling of being so dizzy at first. And then I just screamed out that I trusted God, and that's him. The grieving mother shared these photos of her son, a father to five kids. Here, he's with the boys. Dallas police say after Easter service outside New Generation Church, Branch punched his ex-wife's boyfriend, Joshua Andrews, through an open car door window. The mother of that youth Damn. pastor shot The fight escalated, and police say Andrews got out of the car and shot Branch several times. He preached his last service on God damn. Anger, man. But shit, God damn. A punch led to that. Friday. His mother now leans on her faith and memories of her son's dedication to his church. Today shall not be with me. Yo, that nigga, look, he look like a crazy motherfucker that look like he be punching people, you know, in the, in the yeah. He sang with the choir. He's also part of the ministry in the pulpit team in the prayer warriors. I mean, he was just involved in everything. I ain't gonna lie. Everything. Always bubbly. Dallas police say Andrew surrendered and confessed. Shaler Wilcox shared this message. I ain't gonna lie. The way the mother is like super chill and like, you know, read their face. Faith is a powerful thing. Your belief, your belief. Let me be specific. Belief is a, is a powerful thing about her son's accused killer. Even with him, I'll continue to keep him in my prayers because they're still children. They're still Look at that. somebody's baby. Look at in that. In Dallas, yeah. I'm Scoop Jefferson. No. The fight escalated and police say That's Andrews got out crazy. of Easter Sunday, which meant that a lot of people were home and most of them witnessing when that man was running down 56th Street moments before being gunned down. He was running what? on foot. He was running. All evidence now cleared out but the images still vivid in the minds of neighbors. Just scared, um, like I don't want my kids to be, you know, in the front by themselves playing. Easter Sunday celebrations along 56th Street. Me and my family, we was in the house uh, playing games. Blocked off with caution tape after multiple shots were fired. And all of a sudden we heard two shots. And then next thing you know, you hear pow, 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 pow. I seen that yeah, the guy yeah. was laying, you know, on the ground and, you know, people were yelling. Police say Joshua Xavier Andrews ran from the scene, but later turned himself in and confessed to shooting Denzel Branch. Anger, He's bro. now charged with murder. The only thing I know Anger, is they destroyed bro. at the church down the street down there. And we it was Easter Sunday, which meant that we seen him running this way. According to the arrest affidavit, witnesses told police both men had attended Easter services and got into an argument outside of New Generation wow. Church. Branch allegedly. They both went to church. To, like they were, they saw each other at church and this is after church and you decided to fight this. That's crazy. Punch Andrews in the face, which led the suspect to pull out his gun. Andrew. Why did I have a gun at church? Anyway, whatever, you know, your ops could give me any. Anyway. I ain't gonna hold you. Andrews later telling police the argument stemmed from a love triangle after the victim's now ex-wife had an affair with Andrews. Witnesses claim both men had close ties to the church. Wow. <laughs> including the victim allegedly serving as a youth minister. However, the church only posting a statement on Facebook that says in part, they're deeply saddened by the tragic incident. In South Dallas, Alicia Barrera, NBC5. You seen him run? Yo, it's, it's a whole lot right here to dissect. So clearly, bro on the left, was is the one that killed bro on the right because bro on the right is his current girl's ex and i was saying and bro on the right punched bro on the left i you know what i'm saying 
because he's dating his ex or whatever. I guess I don't know whatever happened. I guess you know what I'm saying, bro. But mind you, all these niggas were in church together, like moments earlier. Bro, on the love to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a, hey, I ain't about to take this disrespect. Forgetting that the church just preached to you about turn the other cheek. A man punches you and you pull up your whoop whap in church and, like, and, and blast that man. What the fuck? What the fuck? And then you run away. Of course you're going to come back. Like everybody saw you. This, you did it right there. Like, you know what I mean? Like all this because of a woman. Men don't know how to control themselves when it comes to women. And I don't understand why. That's our weakness. Like, the most successful men, you know what I'm saying, don't focus on women. That's how they make their money. The most spiritually enlightened men don't focus on women. That's how they make their money. Now, don't talk about me because I, I, I'm i not focused on no woman, but she just like my way. You heard it? You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, but look, for real though, on some real shit. Like, man, our weakness is women, bro. Once we can conquer that weakness, bro, I'm not saying that we should, like, wipe them out or nothing. No, not that stupid shit. But I'm just saying, like, once we can control ourselves, like, bro, we good. Once we can control ourselves, oh, man, self-control for men is everything. Once we have that, it, we it's finished. It's finished, bro. Like, we are, we are, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yo, let me know what y'all think, man. R.I.P. to bro, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shame on you to bro on the left, bro. Like, for real, for real. That's, that's.